is out there. Hey guys, it's Talk Recycle and FPV, and I'm telling you, this is the third time I've had to make this video because everybody keeps in I got Julio walking behind me making stupid faces in the camera. I got my wife calling. I can't finish this video, so I'm just going to go at it no matter what. I don't care anymore. Okay, we're just going to do it. So anyways, here's what we got today. Uh, first of all, let me just say that I know it's been a while since we did videos. Get ready, though. We are going to go pretty crazy and pretty wild with the videos. We just are getting everything situated here. Um, let me see if I can turn this around. I wonder if I can. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. You can see, I think, behind me, yeah, we're getting, there's a cleaning bottle right there we got to put away, but getting everything set up here. We should be pretty much ready to go. So uh, that's our new facility, and obviously there's a lot more to it, CNC room in the back, and then all our inventory, Sam's uh, cage back here, and then Julio is over there, which you can't see him because my camera is not over there. But anyways, actually, Julio, we should get you in on one of these. Yeah. Do that soon. Get your camera set up. Right. Get your shit set up. We'll do it. Anyways, okay. So right now what we're going to do is, we're helping a customer who bought a Mobula 6 from us. He's got a, uh, a Radio Master TX16S. So let me show you. He does not know how to bind it. So let me show you what we're going to do here. Okay, I'm going to show you the way I would bind it, and then uh, and then we'll take it from there. All right, so here's a Radio Master TX16S. And please keep in mind that if you have, I'll, I'll probably do it again with one of my um, Free Sky radios just to knock two things out in one session here. Uh, so anyways, what you're going to do first is you're going to make your model in your Radio Master, and I'm not going to go through how to do that. That's not what this tutorial is about. It's just on how to bind. So here's what we do. Once you have your model made, go ahead to hold your model button down to get your properties, and then scroll to your left. Now, my model is going to be number five, so that's my receiver number, number five. Under your mode, make sure you have multi. Make sure it says Free Sky D. Now, if you end up with something like this, that's fine. Multi, Free Sky X, and then you have D16. Click on the D16. Let me make sure you can read that first. Though. Hold on a second. It looks like it might be a little hard to read. So let's let's do that there. And let's see if we can get... There you go. Okay, so make it look like this here. So you have the Multi, the Free Sky X, and the D16. Once you get to the D16, uh, go ahead and click on it. And turn it one time to the right. Roll this to the right one time. And now it's going to say D8, just like that. Let me see if I can get this to get uh, darker again. There we go. D8. Okay, and then... Uh, you can change your receiver. I'm going to number my receiver to number five. I know that hadn't been used. All right. Now your radio is ready to bind, okay? Now it's time to get to the computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Betaflight now. This is how I do it. All right. So here we are in Betaflight. I'm going to plug in my quad here real quickly. So do that first. You should hear it. Click. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these screens. Uh, let me see. I will do it like this. You don't need to see my face. Let's just do it like that, and let's zoom out. Okay, so you get to see everything here. Okay, so what you can see right now is I've got the blinking light here, right? I've got my lights blinking, and what I want to do is I'm going to go into beta flight. So I'm going to click connect. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to my CLI, and when the CLI is ready, I'm going to go into the text box, and I'm going to type the following. FR SKY underscore bind and I'm gonna hit enter. Betaflight's gonna say it's binding. Now I'm gonna go to my radio and I'm gonna go to my bind button. I'm gonna bind. Okay, and it's chirping, it's binding. Okay, and once it's done, once we're doing that, we're gonna hit uh, the button again so to stop it. Recovered. We've now got telemetry as you can hear it say, and there's our signal showing that we are now connected to our uh, quad. So now at this point on Betaflight, I'm just going to go ahead and click disconnect. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. And it's recovered. And now when I connect again and go to receiver, sorry, right here, you'll see that when I move my sticks, uh, we're good to go. Okay? We have our auxiliaries and everything set up. Now, if you don't have your auxiliary set up and you need help with that, that's again, that's another video. This is strictly just binding. Okay? So that's how you bind to the TX16S. Receiver, now, active. I'm going to show you the same thing, basically, uh, of how you're going to bind uh, with your radio. Now, please keep in mind that if you're using a Free Sky radio, you need to make sure that you have your 1.1.3 um, uh, XJT module set up. And here's how you would do it here. Pretty much the same step. Let me just grab my radio real quickly. So let's just say I have a QX7. Okay, and this is the ACCST edition. If you have the Access edition, again, you need to make sure you get a, you have to have an external module to run D8. You cannot run D8 from an Access, but from the ACCST you can. And that, again, if you need to run D8, uh, you need to get an R9M uh, module. All right, so anyway, so I have my Free Sky D8 right here, and we're going to basically do the same thing, okay? 
So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our, uh, oops, sorry. We're going to go to our model here and we're going to scroll up. And on this one, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you select here. Let me swap the screens here. Just like that. You're going to make sure that on this one, you select free sky. Uh, no, hold on. You select XJT D8 for your internal module. Okay. And then you're going to basically do the same thing. You're going to go to your beta flight and you're going to go to your CLI and you're going to type. I'm just going to push the up arrow because it was one of my last commands. There it is. Free sky bind. I'm going to hit enter. And while it's binding, I'm going to go ahead and click bind. Okay. And we're going to get our radio and our, our quad is now in bind mode. So once it's done, hit exit, exit. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect and we're going to reconnect here. Reset, and we go to receiver, uh, and we are not bound. Of course not. Julio, why didn't my bind? Hold on. XJTD8, that's right. Uh, that's right. Try this again. Uh, let's go to our CLI. I'm going to try it one more time. Free sky bind, hit enter. Now I'm going to bind. Okay, that should be good. And, and exit. I'm going to come over here, and I think what I'll do now is I'll just type save and hit enter. That may take it for me. So what we'll do now is we, there we go. So once we type save and enter, then we did bind. Okay, sorry guys, so I forgot to type save. I didn't know you have to do that. You don't have to do it for the jumper, but I guess for this one you do. So anyways, once I connect here, now I'm gonna hit receiver and you'll see that we're functioning again, okay? So the setup process is almost identical for the two. Uh, just make sure you follow that. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. It's a very quick video. All it is is about binding. If you have any other specifics as far as setting up models, setting up switches and all that for this, let me know. Uh, you can email me uh, and head on over to our page here. And then you can also check us out at uh, wrong link right here. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Man, I got all these buttons mixed up. So just, you see that right there? And we're getting used to all this. So please uh, subscribe to our channel just so you have support. I'd appreciate it. Um, and then uh, there, you can check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash cyclone FPV. Sorry, just still moving equipment around. Uh, other than that, guys, same thing as always. Please, God bless, be safe, and most of all, make sure to spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Please make the most of it. You can always fly later into my boys, Ashton, Lynn, and Jaden. What's up, guys? I'll see you all tonight. We're playing some Rainbow Six Siege all night long. I know you got school tomorrow, but hey, we can stay up till 3 in the morning and play, can't we? Talk to you all later. Be careful. Peace.